Wouldn't it be great if Casio made a watch that was based on all the greatest hits of budget ones we love, eh? <laughs> oh my. Let's get into it! Yes, and welcome to the Mad Watch Collector Show. It's another show on Casio and a brand new one to boot. Yes, this watch is so brand new, it is not available in the UK currently. So me, yeah, Muggins here, had to shop over in Japan, pay a ridiculous amount of money for the watch and import tax just to show it to you. However, any excuse to buy a Casio well, I'm there like a shot. Now imagine you've taken all your favorite bits of Casio, right? The Royale, we all love that watch. And the G-Shock, we love the G-Shock. Let's throw in the fishing timer. And this one, yeah, and we'll do this one. Put it all into a bowl and mix it good. And voila, you've got what has the potential to be the best budget Casio release of 2024. But the big question is, is that overall package worth you buying? There's only one way to find out. Are you budget Casio? Cassio ready! Let's Cassie go! So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, the WS1700-1A. And first off, you've got to say, this is cool, because it looks like an 80s gadget watch, with obviously features that are far less fun than reality. And for those of you that think variety is the spice of life, well, you can't go wrong with this one, can you? You've pretty much got five windows, all in different colours. A watch modding delight. This is actually a surprisingly big watch. It's definitely tough, but I was not expecting it being this big. And straight away you can see that the case does resemble a G-Shock square and with that digital analog clock in the top right hand corner, well it's definitely got Casio Royale vibes hasn't it? And this is certainly a watch you can imagine can take a hell of a beating. The case is resin plastic, it isn't the rubber resin of a G-Shock, however if it's got that shape of a G-Shock, surely if the watch bangs against something it's going to have some sort of protection. Just like the A1500 I reviewed last Last week we do have those faux rivets showing again. Not something I'm particularly bothered about but I know some of you are. It adds to the toughness you know. Try unscrewing those fake screws. Anyway it ain't a Casio if they haven't put so much text on the front of the watch it makes your eyes go funny. We've got tide graft at the top, moon phase at the bottom, the adjust, mode, light and search text definitely resembles G-Shocks and we've got so many colours here haven't we? Not only colours but textures on that dial. This is a Casio you can look at for some time and forget you were trying to tell the time from it because you were just mesmerized by all the pretty colors. This is a 48 millimeter case watch with 52.5 millimeters lug to lug and it's 15 millimeters thick. That's a slab of beef. In actual fact, let me put it up against the G-Shock now and you can see this is a big boy. Very legible screen and this watch is tailored for those that love their marine sports. Whether you like to go surfing, fishing, sand castle making, that's me. I want to know when the tide's out for that. It's a semi pointless feature for me, but if it means you're going to have multiple windows with multicolored screens, I'm all in. The resin band is interesting. Once again we have that over lip that gives us that sturdy G-Shock anti-shock function. As I said I recently reviewed the A1500 and as you can see this strap bends, bows, has a little bow to it which I really like, it conforms to the wrist. The WS1700 though just shoots out and maybe harder to get a comfortable fit. The straps are exactly the same so I'm bewildered why we've got a jotting out strap and a bowed one. As you can see we definitely have similarities in case design. Unlike this legible amazing bad boy, reading it straight on is very simple. With this new WS1700 though, again, this is a module where the screen loses its power when you look at it head on. And it's only when you look at it at an angle is it very clear. I don't know why Casio do this. <sighs> anyway, enough of that. Come here, do a little digging, right? And you can see that Casio have been rather sneaky. Take a look at the WS1500. Oh, look familiar? Maybe not in case design, 
but definitely in overall features. They've taken that watch and made a better looking case shape. Better looking for 2024 anyway. One other thing about this case, it sort of made me feel a bit uneasy. And once you've seen it, you cannot unsee it. The buttons, they are way too close to each other. And it makes this watch now look like a, I don't know, a robotic spider. They are ridiculously close together. And the way they're positioned in this case, it's not very ergonomic or practical or even nice on your fingers. These buttons are so close up against this middle ridge that it's not fun at all. Ruben the robotic spider, say hello to everyone. Hello. Um, could you just click that like button please? It really helps the channel. Thank you. Now apparently this bad boy is a 3562 module. We've got a 10 year battery life, which is phenomenal. Also, I don't think I mentioned, but 100 meters water resistant, bang for buck. This watch is only gonna lose plus or minus 30 seconds a month. The first feature, is the main feature, the tide graph, the moon phase. It tells you when it's low tide. It tells you when it's high tide. It also tells you the phase of the moon. Perfect for me and my sandcastles. <laughs> oh my God, it's time. Get the bucket and spade ready. The next feature is our stopwatch and the analog display moves with an amazing animation. Unfortunately, this does stop the watch from telling you the time when you're in stopwatch mode. Funnily enough though, in the countdown timer mode, we do have the current time showing, which is a little bit strange. But again, look at that countdown animation going, love it. This watch also comes with three alarms and we have a dual time. You can change the backlight from 1.5 seconds to three seconds long. Hello. On my six and a half inch wrist, and this feels big. Not as comfy as the A1500. I feel like those ridges at the start of the strap just dig into me a little bit more. It'll feel differently on all wrists. I have had this problem in the past with other Casios. It's around 48 grams and it's not too heavy. As I said, it's just a little uncomfortable. However, for what it lacks, it gains in its cool lookingness. This is what a Casio's all about. Digital retro gadgety that looks far more complicated than it is. Plus this bad boy is tough, ready for action. You're not gonna need a battery for 10 years. It'll go underwater far deeper than you'll ever want to. And hopefully when this watch comes out in the UK market and is around 35 to 40 pounds, this watch will be well up a lot of people's streets. Who doesn't wanna know when the moon's at its best phase? Here it is, my wife's views on the WS1700. <laughs> I've seen this before, haven't I? Well, the only positive I can give it is it looks like a cyborg frog is winking at me. Hate the strap and don't like the watch. A cyborg frog. I suppose his eyes in the top right, his mouth is the time display and that tide graph is its winking eye. Yes, another Casio Corner. And today we've got to say a big thanks to Days underscore Watch. And either this gentleman collects firefighter helmets and puts them on display in his house, or he is an actual firefighter for the Lexington Fire Department. It's an amazing backdrop for a proper tough G-Shock with a set of beautiful bull bars. A tough watch with a tough hat. What more do you want? If you'd like to be on the next Casio Corner, all you gotta do, find me on Instagram here and tag me in on one of your Casio posts. Who knows? Next time, the star of the show could be you. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you want to be a member of the Mad Watch Collector Show, click there. You want some merch? Yeah, click down there further. But if I've got you for a few more minutes, why don't you check this one out? Oh, Casio Delight. Go on, click it. Made myself laugh then, that was quite funny. Go on, click it. Click, click it.